Hi there. Now this is a solution that came to me for the broken pipe that's leaking all the oil into the Gulf of Mexico. And this is sort of an idea that builds off of a, a, a much lower pressure plug system. The, temp the pressures can be quite intense even at the bottom of the ocean where the oil is coming out. If they're getting uh, 70,000 barrels a day, when this pipe, this 21 inch pipe is plugged, the pressures could be thousands of pounds, maybe even tens of thousands of pounds. So uh, these plugs that are used in piping at lowered pressures don't work at all. They're typically, what it, what, what it is is that they have uh, in a pipe they have a rubber that goes against this and then they compress the rubber and the pressure against the side stops the, the water or liquid from coming out but usually at 40 to 100 pounds. You need something that's much more stronger when you get up over 10,000 pounds the rubber just gets turns into a gel that squeezes out so that's not really going to work. What I have is added something to in a urethane. This is the pipe, okay, the 21 inch pipe, and here's the 6 inch pipe they were, they were trying to to make get the pump the oil out. Well, um, I still have the urethane in in this is this green stuff shown here, so it's not doesn't fill the space between the 6 inch pipe and the 21 inch pipe. The diameter is around seven and a half inches. But what you do is you make a urethane uh, uh, plug that's hollow and then you put ball bearings in it, small ball bearings, maybe quarter inch, maybe eighth of an inch, depends on the clearance of the pipe here. The pipe is broken, maybe it's been bent, maybe it's out of round. Okay, that's why they may have put the six inch there. Okay, but you can slide uh, if it's out of round, you could use this method as well to, and so that you could, there's a, to get back to this just for a second, there's more ball bearings in a steel tube that's welded to this end of the steel flange, okay, and there's a hydraulic ram, and as it pushes the bearings in, the bearings expand against the wall. It's possible if you get enough thing here, you can actually bend the pipe or make it expand out. And here you can see where the, where the rubber is smaller than the pipe. So if it's out around you can stick it in and then you can expand the pressure and make the the wall of the pipe, if you get up to 100,000 pounds, actually move the pipe out. Okay, if you do all this it probably is only going to take a couple of days to make something like this and you can test it above ground everything like that um, you can cut off the pipe if you had to uh, but the uh, if it's out of round because the section down further will be round and um, put this in here with like a, an eighth of an inch clearance the urethane, of course, will squeeze out, but when the balls, they may be in, in the urethane, they may be loose. Lots of different ways to test it. They will jam into this space, and then the urethane has only smaller holes to bridge. Okay, so in this way, the urethane finally can hold the pressure because it's got the the steel balls either mixed in with them or different sizes, all these things, they can withstand very high pressures. You put this in, you're going to stop the leak. Thanks.